So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K19. Today we are doing rebuild number two. Today using the Milwaukee Bucks. If you do not know, I do go in order alphabetically. So did the 76ers already. That was my first rebuild on 2K19. More than welcome to go check it out. It's my most recent video besides this one, of course. So this Bucks team, um, we get to use Giannis, which I'm obviously very excited about. Middleton, Bledsoe. I mean, really totally safe players. I would honestly say it's pretty much only Giannis. If we're being totally honest, probably one of the top 10 best players in the NBA, I would have to say. Uh, I, right now, quickly, I just want to check. Middleton does go up to an 86 at small forward because I think he will be traded immediately because he is, of course, a free agent after this year. Same goes with Eric Blood. So, Brooke Lopez, I'm not really sure. Brogdon, does he have another year of team control or is he a free agent after this year? Uh, he's a free agent as well. So, I would like to keep him. I just don't know if I'm going to really be able to pay him the money he wants. So, we are just going to start out with some trades immediately. We're just going to start with Chris Middleton. Get it out of the way. See what offers we get from him. I wouldn't really mind. Like, Fultz would be an interesting deal. I think I kind of got him, or I was using him in my 76ers rebuild, though, obviously, because he is on the team. So, Kemba Walker, again, free agent. Brandon Ingram is pretty interesting. But, uh, you know what? Drummond might be a nice pickup for, for the video. Unless I really see anybody else that's better. Draymond, I could go... Uh, I don't really want to go with DiVincenzo, though. I could go CJ McCollum, who's actually a pretty nice pickup. Um, I think, yeah. You know what? We're going to go Andre Drummond. We also get rid of John Henson's contract. We pick up Reggie Bullock. So, trade number one, complete center, is set for the whole video. And so now I'm thinking it's probably going to have to be Eric Bledsoe. If I package Bledsoe and Lopez, could I get a different point guard? Like, I honestly might even take Kemba for these two. Just because after one year, of course, I could then re-sign him. But, and I'd be willing to pay him as well. So... Other than that, we're not seeing many point guards. Uh, CJ McCollum is right here. And honestly, at this point, I might just take this. And yeah, I feel like I'd be stupid not to. Um, yeah, I'm just. Okay. Yes. There we go. So CJ McCollum is now here. So let me see what this rotation is looking like. Brogdon, McCollum. Okay. So I do not want Ursan really starting. I'm thinking about packaging like Shabazz Muhammad and Delvadova. Because DiVincenzo will be in the. You know, we're going to do. Del Vadova and Tony Snell, I think. I don't really know what I could get at the power forward position for them. But let us let me just look. So we're going to go Tony Snell, Del Vadova, and I'll actually give you my first round pick this year as well. So I need some sort of power forward, maybe a center that can just be converted. Like Bobby Portis isn't bad. He's just a free agent out of this year, so it's really annoying. Kaminsky, healed. I'm not going to get him. Fournier. Um, Serge Ibaka is honestly not bad for a year. Because then I can trade them. So, yeah, you know, we're going to pick up Serge Ibaka and Greg Monroe. Not horrible. Not the best thing in the world, but I can live with it. So, this is going to be the rotation for the first season. Uh, Greg Monroe is back in Milwaukee. I'm thinking I'm going to trade Tyler Zeller right now for some sort of point guard, and that's going to be the last trade. Um, so, let me just do that. Thon Maker actually might be in the G League as well, because he's really not that good. Andrew Harrison is, like, exactly who I wanted to pick up. So, let me just check this right now. Um, roster, DiVincenzo assigned a Wisconsin Herd, Thon Maker. Okay, yeah, so both these guys will be in the G League. Hopefully, they're both better overalls after this year, of course. So, let me just set this. Ursan, you're going to play about 24. Monroe, about 18. Bullock, about 15. Harrison, about 10. Muhammad, unfortunately, you will not be playing. So, this bench is actually pretty gross. 33 here, 35. 38 to Giannis. 32 and we're going to go 35 to Drummond. So this is the rotation. Season number one, Malcolm Brogdon, CJ McCollum, Giannis, Abaka, and Drummond. Off the bench, we've got Eli Sova, Monroe, Bullock, and Harrison. So this is the team. I'm pretty sure we should be a top whatever seed in the West Eric Simi Eastern Conference. And I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. So we end season number one going 58 and 24. Steph Curry is the MVP. It would have been cool if Giannis could have won it, but you know what? He can't. Don Chitz, Evans, Giannis does win Defensive Player of the Year, and he had an unbelievable season. We'll get more into the stats in a minute. And Steve Kerr coach of the year so we ended as looks like a two seed looks like toronto is still unbelievable and they are the one seed um we were how many games we had them four games back um player stats in the year i'm guessing Giannis led us in scoring he did and then mccullum was very good drummond was very good 15 and a half and 13 i will take he also led us in rebounding and then assist was also Giannis. so we're looking pretty good for the playoffs um we're taking on the hawks in the first round who i didn't think would make it but they did it really feels like simming is a lot slower this year, which is kind of annoying, but it's whatever. You can't really do anything about that. Um, 76ers round two are not my favorite team to beat. 
because they always kind of fuck me over. 2-0. 2-1. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm not losing. I'm not losing. Thank you. 3-2 and Eastern Conference Finals. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, brother. This is just, this is where it gets annoying. And I know I'm going to lose to the Raptors anyways, so I don't really know why I'm making a huge deal about it. And this is a close one. I'm not going to be hopping in this early. And we end up winning by two points. So, <laughs> I'll take. Uh, we're taking on the Raptors in the East Finals. And they're probably going to murder us. So, I'm just going to sim the round. It's honestly, it's okay if they do. So, and we end up, we won. We're going to the NBA Finals to take on the Rockets. Let's let's check out, oh, whoops, not calendar. Let's check out the Rockets team. I, I'm, I'm going to be totally honest. I did not think we would be in the NBA Finals right now. Uh, Harden, they really haven't made many trades. <laughs> yeah, it looks like their team is pretty much exactly the same. So here we go. Game one, we won. Game two, we lose. We are down 2-1. Tied at two games apiece. Up 3-2. Could this be it? We want a chance. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's actually huge. They all oh, have headphones in. You just blew out their head eardrums Let's again. Go. I was trying to take a video without these two in it, but I can't I, I guess they uh, they just can't can't live without it So we won a championship with this team. So the pressure is kind of off at this point uh, This guy is getting fired. Our assistant GM is good. I'm gonna bring in D'Antoni if I can And actually I'm not I'm just gonna cause he just cost too much money um, oh my God. All these guys are just so So expensive. I'll try Nick Nurse, I guess and then I need Jimmy Lynch or R.I.P. Not even in the game. Um, but yeah, we get uh, Martin and we get Nurse. So the staff is all set. Uh, I'm going to head up to the draft, see what pick I end up with. So let's see. Giannis, I might try to trade Ibaka. DiVincenzo is up to a 78. Maybe like Ibaka, Ilyasova, and my... Oh, I didn't... I trade my first round pick this year so i'm gonna make a trade and i'll be back in a second so i'm gonna see if we can do this trade with the miami heat sending them serge Ibaka for i believe it's a seventh overall pick they want divincenzo i can't be doing that right now um i'll give you Ilya sova do you have enough money you do they don't want to do that and how about if i just give you another second and they agree to that okay so we cleared up a little bit of cap space by doing that i'm thinking about doing a sign and trade with brogdon just to improve at point guard a little bit and then i also still need a power forward so right now I'm working with the seventh overall pick. I'm most likely just going to draft somebody there, unless like, if I trade Divincenzo, and why the game is so slow this year, it's so annoying. In the seventh overall pick, I get one offer, and it's T.J. Warren and pick six. Yeah, that's that's just not going to happen. So I'm going to draft somebody at seven, and I will see you guys at rookie signings. So rookie signings with pick seven, we ended up drafting Romeo Langford, who I'm pretty okay with, 76 overall. He definitely could be a part of a trade. So Thon Maker also could be part of a trade, and Pat Connaughton will be coming back. I'm not sure how much cap space we're going to have this year because we're paying Giannis, we're paying Drummond and McCollum, which is a little bit unfortunate, but still it happens. Uh, all these guys, and I forgot Brogdon's a free agent too. God damn, yeah, no money is going to be a thing this year. We have, like, yeah, just no money whatsoever. So there's not really that many good power forwards. Anyways, Porzingis looks like he's going to take the offer from the Clippers, but I'm 98% chance that it's going to get matched by the Knicks. Kemba wants to go back to the Hornets. Okay. Let me see. Let me see some trades. If I package, um, I'm probably going to have to do DiVincenzo, Thonmaker, and a first-round pick. I need either – I think it's a power forward I'm looking for, if we're being honest at this point. Like, I'm not doing it for DeMontis Sabonis, I can tell you that. And, yeah, these trades are just kind of all disgusting. Um, let's go power forward slash center. And they cannot be making a lot of money either. So – I don't think you can trade for Ben Simmons this year. I would honestly give you McCollum, but they don't even have the money for that. So I would give you Langford. I would give you DiVincenzo. And I would give you Thon Maker. I know I've seen it been I've seen it done before. I just don't know if it can make it work. And you can have Sterling Brown. Yeah, I didn't think so. Simmons is probably gonna be pretty hard to trade for. Aldridge, no, Gobert, no. Draymond could be interesting. I just don't know if we have that much money. Um, it would probably have to be DiVincenzo, 14 mil, Langford, 5 mil, and Thon Maker. This is a lot. This is like a lot, a lot, a lot for Draymond Green. Um, if I were to do this, I would probably want your first round pick for the next two years, maybe. 
All right, how about we try one year? And they agree to that. Okay, so it definitely could have been a big overpay for Draymond, but I'm going to still take it. I'm, I mean, one of the best defensive power forwards in the NBA. So let me just assess where we are right now. We have no point guards. We have... All right, let me just go ahead and sign Brogdon back. I just need to do that. Um, Bird rights, Malcolm Brogdon. Just pay the man who actually might end up getting traded himself. Reggie Bullock wants a pretty good amount of money, but I'll give it to him for now. Jake Lamb and I'm not paying. Um, so we signed these two. Goodbye, 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 bye. Okay, so those two are signed. I'm thinking about making a trade with Brogdon now, maybe for like Kemba Walker, and I'll see you guys once I have that trade. So I think a pretty cool trade would be Malcolm Brogdon and Sterling Brown for Dennis Smith Jr. I'm not sure if they are going to accept it, and he does only have three-star trade value, which is kind of nice. I'd be willing to give up this Warriors pick, too. It's probably not going to really turn into much of anything, and you can have Pat Connaughton as well, and they agree with that. Okay, so Dennis Smith Jr. is now on this team, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six players at the moment, which is... Not ideal. So we need a backup point guard, shooting guard, small forward. I really don't even need that much power forward and maybe center. So I don't know how much money I really have left. Um, I don't think it's that much. Like I probably have a mid-level exception left. I would have to think. So DeAndre Jordan's not going to happen. Isaiah Thomas wants 14 mil. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So no, and I'm just going to sign a bunch of guys, and I'll see you guys once I have those signings. So we are going to go ahead and sign TJ McConnell. Not a bad backup point guard. Um, shooting guard-wise, it's not the end of the world if I don't get a backup. Nick Young, Anthony Talbert. Yo, boy, this is kind of gross at power forward. Um, I would take Boban if he wants to come here. I guess probably will end up trading him. And then, oh, boy, Luke Babbitt also will probably be traded. Why this game is annoying me like a lot. It takes so long and just everything takes forever to load. So these guys are all set. I'm gonna send some guys to training camp to see you guys at the start of the second season. So we are making this trade with the Dallas Mavericks. Tony Allen, Danny Green, a first for Wayne Ellington, and a second. I think that should be nine good enough players. Let me just check this. Okay, so I like the starting lineup. Ellington's honestly gonna be the sixth man. Bullock can get 20. McConnell 15. And then Boban can honestly get 10. And I think we're we're pretty much good. We're gonna go 32 here. 37 there, 32 to these guys, and we're just going to go 34, 34. And we will give one more to McConnell, I guess. So that's the rotation, season number two. The team is probably going to stay the same for the rest of the video, but this is it. Let's go try to win another championship, and I'll see you guys at the end of the second season. So season number two was a pretty good year. We went 64 and 18, and Giannis won MVP and went God mode. So the team is looking really good. Nick Nurse also wins coach of the year for us. So we're looking pretty good. We're obviously the one seed with that record. Um, I'll show you the standings if you want. Again, everything just feels so much slower this year, and it's it's pretty annoying, if I'm being honest. So Giannis, unbelievable. Dennis Smith Jr. is an upgrade from Brogdon. I think everybody can agree there. Drummond, unbelievable. McCollum, I would like maybe a few more points. Like, I think you would be my second leading scorer. Draymond's not really a big points guy. Ellington and Bullock were solid in Boban. I'll take four rebounds. So let's see. First round, we're taking on the Cavs. No longer have LeBron. I think it should be a pretty easy sweep if we're being... For being honest so let's hopefully we can do that and thanks for coming so we move on in the next round like see like just this like this loading screen just feels slower uh hawks are a four seed we beat them last year we got way better this year i'm sure they did too but it still should be rather easy so um let's see who we're taking on in the eastern conference finals and it is the celtics so let's see if 2k can still hate the celtics like they used to and okay looks like they don't and we are going to the Wait for it. NBA Finals. Come on. Oh, we almost got to play the Jazz. That would have been so nice. So, so nice. But, no, we are facing the Warriors. Um, wow. This team looks different. Curry, Julius, Randall, Jordan. But what in the world? I know. I mean, I took Draymond from them. But where's Clay? Where's KD? Where's Cousins? All right. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to complain about it. But we should be sweeping them, I would honestly think. The only position they're better than us at is point guard. And just like that, we sweep them, and Giannis is Finals MVP. So it's time for a three-peat. That's, that's ultimately what I'm going for here. Um, we are going to go up to the draft. I don't think we have any picks, but our staff is all set, our trainer and our coach. That's all I really care about. So we can check. We actually do not have any first-round picks. I honestly think the team is all set. I think I might have to re-sign Draymond, which kind of sucks. But I should be able to do that. I re-signed McCollum. Like, I literally re-signed everybody, which kind of sucks because I don't know. I'm hoping I have enough cast space for Draymond. 
If I don't, that's going to really, really suck. Like, really, really suck. Simmons the free agent. Draymond has an offer from the Trailblazers. I'm just going to pay the man and hope he will accept this and we can be done with this and just sign a bunch of bench pieces. So we get Draymond back. I'm just going to renounce the rights on all these guys. And we are good. So I'm going to sign a bunch of bench guys. And I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final year. So here's the rotation. Third and final season. Dennis Smith Jr., CJ McCollum, Giannis, Draymond, and Andre Drummond. Off the bench, we've got TJ McConnell, Wayne Ellington, Reggie Bullock, and Mason Plumley, who I use my mid-level exception on. So team looks good enough to me to win a third championship. I wasn't even expecting to win one in the first season. We did definitely good enough now. And I will see you guys at the end of season number three. So end of season number three, third and final year, we do go 66 and 16. And Giannis is MVP again. Cunliffe, Schroeder, Kawhi, Lankford. Nick Nurse once again coach of the year. I mean, we're, we're just too good at this point. I honestly think standings wise, I mean, we are 11 games up. Best record in the NBA by far. Player stats. Let's check this out. Giannis Smith McCollum a few more points this year, but nothing's still amazing. So I think we're looking good. Uh, Bulls in the first round shouldn't be too much of a challenge. I'm trying to three-peat. And if we can do that, I get a video title, which is nice. And of course, always needed. So we end up sweeping the Bulls in the first round. Not too bad. I, I can live with that. Um, now we are taking on the Celtics, who I would prefer to take on in the East Finals. But, you know, you can't always have it like that. So... We're up two on them. I think I can sim the current round with pretty good confidence and just assume that we are going to go ahead and sweep them. And we do. And we are taking on the Philadelphia 76ers, who are good. I don't really think it's a challenge, though. At this point, if we're being totally honest, and we... Oh, we gen gentlemen sweep, though. That's what it was. And NBA Finals, we are taking on the... Wow, the Dallas Mavericks, even though we probably took their second best player, but... Whatever it happens. Uh, Mavericks, let's check out their team. Oh, they have Cousins now. That, um, that definitely helped, and we gave them Brogdon. Okay, yeah, no, so they're they're pretty good. Um, I definitely think we can still sweep them, though, which I would like to. And we're not sweep, but we're going to end up winning in five, and the three-peat is complete. So this was a pretty cool team. I, I like how this came out. Came out. I think it was pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed, of course, leave a like down below. If you guys need to make sure to subscribe, make sure to go follow my Twitter. It's always in the description. It's at mass underscore YT. Uh, next rebuild will be a Chicago Bulls one. So if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure to let me know that down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, of course, and I will see you guys all in the next video.